Moving on, let's check out how you can change the content when the countdown ends. This is great for creating limited time offers where you can actually set it and forget it instead of having to manually change the content to end the offer. Of course, you can use this with anything since the actual content does not affect the functionality. So for example, you could use this in WooCommerce to sell a product for a limited amount of time and then discontinue the offer automatically when the countdown timer is over. That's pretty amazing. So over here we have two large containers with our content, two different offers. Let's say the second one, the dark blue one, is the offer and the first one is the regular price. So I want my offer to show while the countdown is active and I want my regular price to show when the countdown is over. It's very simple. Let's just go into our first one, the regular one, choose the whole container, the largest container, and then let's go under advanced and let's give it a class. I'll give it a class called normal. For the offer one, I'm going to do the same thing, go into the largest container, go under advanced, and I'll give it a class called offer. So the last thing we need to do is to go into our countdown widget, go under extra options. Over here, you're going to see class based section visibility. Make sure this is enabled. And then the during countdown class. This is the class of the content we want to show while the countdown is active. So in my case, that is offer. And after expiry class, that is the class of the content we want to show once the countdown is over. So in my case, that is normal. I'm going to set the countdown and update this. And let's see what happens. So as you can see right now, it's only showing the dark blue content, the offer. And as soon as the countdown expires, it switches and it only shows the normal content. Very convenient and very simple.